Okay, so let's look at this first example. We want to evaluate the line integral over this curve C of y e to the x ds. Now here C is going to be the line segment joining the points 1, 2, and 4, 7. So the first thing we have to do is of course find a parameterization for this curve. So we need to define a function alpha from 0 to 1 into R2, let's say, such that the starting point is given by 1, 2, and the end point is given by 4, 7. Now, an elementary argument shows that such a curve is going to be given by alpha t is 1 minus t times the first point plus t times the second point. So viewing this as a vector valued function. P in this case is 1, 2, and Q is 4, 7. And if we write this out more explicitly using angled brackets to represent vectors, we see that alpha T is equal to 1 minus T times 1, 2, plus T times 4, 7. If we put this into one single vector, we get 1 minus T plus 4, T in the first component. We get 2 times 1 minus T plus 7, T in the second component. And then just simplifying this expression, we get 1 plus 3t and then 2 plus 5t. So that gives us our parameterization of this curve. It's just a line segment, so we expect it to be linear in each of the components. Now, if we write alpha t as 1 plus 3t and 2 plus 5t, then we can compute its time derivative, which is just given by the time derivative of each component. And in this case, it's clearly just going to be 3, 5. We need to calculate the norm of this tangent vector. We need to calculate the norm of alpha prime of t. And by Pythagoras, that's just the square root of the sum of the squares. So in particular, we see that the norm of alpha prime of t is just the square root of 3 squared plus 5 squared. In other words, the norm of alpha prime of t is just the square root of 34. Okay, so now to actually evaluate the line integral, what we need to do is write each of these variables in our original expression in terms of the parameterization. So we see that x of t is 1 plus 3t, and y of t is 2 plus 5t, noting that these are just the components of the parameterization alpha. So now if we look at the integral over c of y e to the x ds, what we get is the integral from 0 to 1, the 0 and the 1 coming from the fact that those are the endpoints of our parameterization. The y is given by 2 plus 5t. The x is given by 1 plus 3t. So we'll have an e to the 1 plus 3t in the integrand. And then we have to scale it according to the length of the tangent vector along the curve. So we need to scale it by the square root of 34. This is now just an ordinary Riemann integral in one variable, the variable being the t parameter, of course. And what we can do is write this a little more explicitly as 2 root 34 times the integral of e to the 1 plus 3t dt plus 5 root 34 times the integral from 0 to 1 of t times e to the 1 plus 3t. Now the first one you just evaluate using your elementary techniques. The second one you use integration by parts, which I guess is also standard kindergarten material. In which case the final answer you get is just 2 times root 34 on 3 times e to the 4 minus e. And then the second integral turns out to become 5 times root 34 on 9 times e plus 2e to the 4. 